All right, so I'm going to be talking about how to install Ubuntu onto a little uh, USB stick like this. So uh, by default, it should come with the uh, Starter Disk Creator, I think it's called. There it is. And this is great just for the uh, the basic Ubuntu like derivatives and remixes, like Lubuntu and Xubuntu or uh, Kubuntu, or the remixes like Linux Mint or um, Super OS, Ping Guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything that's based on Ubuntu, basically, this will work for it. So to get it going, just click Other. Go to your uh, downloaded ISO. So here's my 1104. Click Open. Where it says Erase Disk, that's going to format your USB drive. And pretty much what I do before I even hit Erase Disk, I back up all my data, of course, all my stuff on the USB. And uh, instead of formatting here, I just go over here and I format it first before I even start this program. The reason why I do that, sometimes I'll get an error when I'm installing it. That's every so often, but usually by doing it this way first, it kind of eliminates the problem. But anyways, and this little slider is for like a system reserve, basically like your home folder, I guess. You know, like if you want to download some programs or install some stuff or uh, uh, put some pictures or some music on it, you can do that too. So, you know, if you slide it, if, you're, if your uh, USB stick's about like, you know, 8 gigs or 16 gigs or whatever you should be able to uh, adjust to that all right which is pretty cool you know I, I use them all the time so anyways when you're done just click uh, make startup disk you know you know do its business <clears throat> you'll get a, a password confirmation when it wants to ask for uh, like installing the uh, bootloader and stuff but after that it's pretty much done and just unplug it restart your system you know go to whatever computer you want <clears throat> boot off the, the USB and it should work but anyways let's say you do want you don't want to use Ubuntu you want to use something else like Fedora right so for that I use uh, unit boot you can either download it from here or you can add their PPA right here right so I just downloaded it <clears throat> excuse me if you double click it it's not gonna work right you're gonna have to mark it as executable so right click go to properties permissions allow executing press close double click it and there it goes right <clears throat> excuse me so you have the option to select distribution right so I'm gonna look for I guess Fedora if it's even in there there it is and there's no 15 which is fine just click on 14 I guess and uh, see right here where it says Ubuntu only that's where we're talking about how to have a system reserve or a home folder reserve for your pictures and music and stuff. That's only for Ubuntu, right? You can't do this on, on the other distros. So, anyways. So I'm going to click this little uh, button here. It's on my desktop. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you can notice how it says root. Alright, this is the root desktop. So go to your computer. Now click here. Go to your home find your name and wherever you download it at so if it's in your downloads or for my situation it's on my desktop so I'm gonna look at my desktop there's Fedora click open and pretty much just uh, click OK and it's gonna do the same thing as the other one right it's gonna format it it's gonna do it it's gonna do his business it, it might ask you for a password for the bootloader and and that's that <clears throat> excuse me so that's pretty much it you know it's no big deal um, let me just click OK, get it going. So uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. You know, it's a good way to save on, on burning CDs and DVDs, you know what I mean? Save some cash. <laughs> so anyways, uh, thanks for watching.